you ought to see some of the other stuff. But we're going to go and show you the process making uh, Damascus. What do you think? Let, let's hit it. Let's go in. <laughs> let's do it. Let's do it. On iron art. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. One of these guys, they have a you kill a kill like I do. <laughs> oh, so guys. he does wear something under hey, the belt. Guys, they oh. sitting choppers here. <laughs> how you doing? Hey, how you doing? Good. Howdy. Rob. Good to see you, Mike. Good there. Going? Chopper, how you doing? Good, good to see you. How you doing? Chopper. Chopper. Hey, hey. Come on in. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. And then, uh, anyway, <laughs> we're going to let you guys introduce yourselves. I'm Robert Ellsworth. Al Morley. Mark Schramm. All right, guys. Guys, show us what you got. Show us what you're doing around we're the shop here. Look at this guy right here. John Fitzen and Chop Purr. <laughs> chop Purr. <laughs> chop Purr. <laughs> Tell them about this. This mark that you done. Okay. This is a sculpture that my son and I made in the year 2005 in, in the summer and we took it up to Cody Wyoming to the to a high dollar show up there called the Western Arts Conference mm -hmm. and I've called him the Patriot that is beautiful and now tell, tell us how, how you made that and how long that this, took you to make this is all hand forged and it took my son and I three and a half months part time to make this. The body is all one piece, split out from three quarter inch plate. Yeah. And everything else was hand forged by myself. My son helped me with the body and the feet and the tail. And I and I did the rest. Yeah, and, and that's look at that, look at that, look that's at the size so of that. Thick. That's some, you know. This is all massive, Jeez. massive material. Riveting and all this stuff. This is cool. All traditional. That's cool. That is. That's Good, job. Cool. Good job. Good job. Something right Chopper here. would like. Yes. I did. In <laughs> fact, I, I like this very much. It it's for sale. <laughs> <laughs> Hornish look to it. Nice little. That's accent. a sledgehammer. It was. That was. A, it was a sledgehammer. It was a sledgehammer. Yeah, I hammered it out into that. Unique little piece Tell them there. Some about That's some of the wild. other stuff you got right here. Okay, uh, not only is this a sledgehammer, this is a ball peen hammer made out into a little hatchet. That's cool. Whoa. Survival gear. So what, you smash down a ball bean pan or into the hatchet. Look Absolutely. at that. Hammer. Into the ha hammer. Ha hammer. I'm not hammered, but I sound like I'm hammered. Yeah, there we go. An yeah. <laughs> that's some of the stuff we do. And then, you know, we obviously do some of these blacksmithing techniques right here. Like, this would be like a Dutch oven tool, you know. And then Mark makes some of these old fashioned type spoons and forks, That's you cool. know, blacksmithed out. And then some of the Damascus stuff, which all we're going to show you is these blades and stuff. If you can get a close up of this, that we've made for John. That's going to be some steak knives that Al's been making. If you can get the, I don't know if I can get the. Oh yeah, we're getting some of that in. Why, why don't you explain just the... right so you can get the Damascus look in there. I don't know if you can see it. And the Damascus is the design in the knife, right? That's that is correct. What yeah, that it's is. two different types of steels. Tell them what type of steel. Really tight, hard steel. I talked to you guys once um, before about this. Yeah, it's what type a, of steel? But I'm going to have them go over it with you. Yeah, it's L6. They're both tool steels. One's an L6, which is a damn hard steel, and then 1080, which is pretty comparable. And then uh, you just you, you beat the hell out of them to get them to go together. And then you end up with that. The 1080 is the darker steel, and the L6 is the shinier stuff. So oh, what you end cool. up with when you get really skinny down here is almost like a microscopic serrated edge. Because you've got both of them coming together in a lot of areas, and you can't see it because it's microscopic. But So the metal is sandwiched really in between it. it. Yeah, Absolutely, they're less, yeah. They're less than a, a paper thin, each layer. Oh, and like what I saying, one thing nice about Damascus, and here's one that uh, I ground out out of the billet, and it's a really thick piece, but like you said, it's a fine serration. When you cut with the Damascus, the L6 and the uh, 1080, the one that's a little bit weaker, flakes away when you're cutting with it, 
and the harder stays. So it sharpens itself to a certain extent when you're cutting with it. It's really kind of, it's cool. And then they used to have things where they're saying that, um, that you'll see the folds and you'll see little voids in the steel, which doesn't hurt it, you guys, okay? But like when I'm grinding a billet, you'll see oil coming out of this. Back in, uh, in Damascus, where Damascus was first made and all the other stuff, they said that uh, the knights, if they got stabbed with a knife, that, uh, oh, you'd get gangrene or whatever because they have special properties that will leach through the metal into your skin and all the other stuff, oh, which wow. is kind of, you know, but it's great stuff. You can put this into a vise, and you guys did. You guys tested it. What did you guys, you put it in a vise, and what happened? And you started bending it. Pretty much 180. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, an, that's impressive, guys. So if you really want the Cadillac of steel since Damascus. And these guys right now, the one, this L6, I love it. It's like a, uh, A2, it's super tough. Dude, I grind these, and you, choppers heard me bitching when I grind it, because <laughs> it eats belts like crazy. But it's gonna be great. These are some knives that we're doing. We're doing the small ones, the bigger ones. They're gonna be up for sale, you guys. They're gonna probably run about, the big ones probably about, what do you think, about 450? around and through there they'll be running we're, we'll 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 uh, talk to you guys yeah, approximately and the small ones maybe a little bit less but they're gonna have stagged handles on them and they're really gonna be cool but yeah, let's I, go over here and show these guys yeah the, the price i don't I, we're gonna have to figure out yeah. what the price because to get the materials yeah. anymore is getting you guys tough. yeah and the thing is so metal has gone up it's like gonna crazy. Fluctu it's gonna fluctuate but it won't be too much different i think we that. just talked about that about a half an hour yeah. ago in our other video about the price of steel going up all the time yeah, so. yeah well. and it's just look at gold look at silver so we're geez. not lying because you just heard it here too <laughs> <laughs> yeah. all right let's go on over yeah, here let's go over to the forge and no lies no so lies. you guys do but we used to forge at our shop razor's edge did but you know what with all the cnc machines and all the other stuff it was getting too much yeah throw the machines out just couldn't do it and then i was going over to my one buddies and doing it and then they had it's, there's been a salt uh, shortage of coke right mm -hmm. uh -huh. and, and so he said john i can't do your billets anymore and all the other stuff and and i met these guys and life is good <laughs> so, so anyway, let's let you guys cool. take away and just... <laughs> let, me, let me shut this door down so you get better lighting. Uh, go ahead, Mark. Show them what. Okay. Now, Damascus will start with, it starts with layered steel. It's different layers of 1080 and L6. And you can actually see it because the L6 is what comes out really shiny and bright when the Damascus is done and it's no different from when it starts. When you layer it, the 1080 is dark and the L6 is very light and shiny. And you weld it together in a great big... How, how thick is that right now? How thick would you um, say that square of 16, stack 16, metal? I'm going to like. say two inches. Okay, two inches By square. inch and a half by four inches long. Okay, okay. And what we have to do first when it starts, we set it near the fire and on the side to warm up. It's got to warm up to forge weld together. Everything has to be the same temperature to weld it together. So you have to set it down on the side and take your time. This is not something that you just do instantly. You have to let everything heat up from the outside in. Okay, so could you do it real quick for us? No, not at all. <laughs> yeah, let me do that for you. This is a very quick thing. So we'll probably, well, we'll probably end up doing let it heat up for a minute. Yeah, shut the camera can, down a little bit and then we'll set the, come shut back. Shut the camera down. Yeah, yeah, let's.